Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Marwan Cheng. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my top three pen picks. Uh, I've been collecting on and off for about three years now. Um, started uh, uh, during my school days, uh, actually, uh, the interest uh, uh, collecting uh, pens wasn't even uh, possible back then because there were not so many choices. Uh, so I started only using uh, a Parker 21, used it for almost 10 years. Uh, maybe a bit uh, beyond that, uh, it was a workhorse. Um, I used it every day, carried it everywhere I went, dropped it uh, uh, multiple times. Uh, sometimes it was just leaking, just uh, strapped it up and it was ready to go. Uh, so I've uh, had quite some fond memories of using the Parker 21 and it was only up until about three years ago when I decided to do an upgrade and I saw uh, Kaweco. Uh, uh, all over the stands and I wanted to find out a little bit more about these pens they were quite cheap so I just bought one and um, they were quite good I I, I was uh, quite amazed about the, the nib quality uh, the retention of ink and I started to add a few more and then I started to research online a, a little bit to see what else was out there in the market and uh, to my surprise there was a lot had changed uh, over the years and uh, one of them uh, notably uh, on the market were being Visconti that uh, you never saw these brands before you uh, uh, in the stores you only saw Parker or Waterman but uh, then suddenly uh, you're introduced to the world of Visconti with the fancy designs so I started to add there and um, and then started Instagram and YouTube and uh, before you knew it uh, it was well over 100 pens and so Today, to narrow down to, to three pens has been quite difficult, but um, uh, I've, I've picked out two trays of uh, 10 pens of each just to, to help uh, make that pick a lot easier. So without further ado, my number three pick, uh, certainly from the first tray, maybe the Parker Duofold. Now the Parker Duofold is a range of fountain pens uh, produced by the Parker Pen Company. The first model was produced in 1921 and uh, was a large pen. It was five and a half inches uh, when capped. It was uh, made of hard uh, rubber uh, in bright red, uh, but it was uh, and it was also expensive at the time. It was, I think it was uh, around seven dollars at the time, uh, which is uh, over a hundred dollars today's money. But back then, it was a lot of money. Uh, it's a premium pen. And then shortly afterwards, of the success of the Duofold, uh, they released the, the Duofold Junior and Special and Lady Duofold. And given the history of my involvement with Parker 21, I, I decided to put a Parker brand into the, my top three. And uh, it's a great writer. It's an 18 karat uh, gold nib. And uh, it's a smooth writer. It's in broad. So there's uh, there's also good ink flow as well. So um, uh, ideally, you know, it's uh, it's uh, almost one of my uh, most ideal pens. Uh, it's a daily use pen as well, and um, so I'm quite happy to put this at uh, number three. For number two, uh, it had to be something uh, special um, to kind of um, go over on top of the Parker Duofold. Um, so I go switch over to Trade Two. And with Trade 2, um, it's also uh, b what you begin to see now is more bright and fancy colours. And obviously the one that sticks out for me would be the Mont Blanc Beatles. So I've decided to go with number two is the Mont Blanc Beatles Special Edition. Uh, why I've picked this one uh, is because of also uh, there's a story to tell. It's, uh, the Beatles were an uh, English rock band from uh, Liverpool in the 1960s, integral part in development of uh, counterculture popular music recognition as an art form. Uh, and all, they were pioneers in recording and songwriting and artistic uh, presentation. So, and, and this kind of uh, uh, captures all of that um, in this. Uh, a lot of people ask me about uh, the design and the design of the colors uh, was also inspired by the the album cover uh, with these uh, fantastic colors so i've gone with this uh, it's a, it's a big standout pen when i start to use it there's a story to tell the logo is uh, is enormous uh, on the cap uh, and that also shows um uh, you know uh, the the branding as well they 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 do care about the branding i mean i'm not here to promote uh, 
um, premium brands, but certainly uh, I enjoy using it. I enjoy the storytelling. And so I've made Mont Blanc Beatles as my number two pick. And for my number one pick, it's also been quite difficult that also to kind of top go over on top of the, those two pens. Um, so I started to look at uh, what may, you know, what would be the criteria if I had to only choose one pen. And I would think about practicality. I would think about uh, design that I want to look at all the time. And it had to be innovative and uh, convenient and pragmatic. And so it's, uh, well, actually, it would only leave one pen. It would leave this uh, Namiki Raiden Galaxy pen. Now, this pen uh, is also called the Vanishing Point, depending on which location you're from, or it's called Pilot, uh, but uh, I like to call it Namiki Raiden Galaxy. It's a retra retractable fountain pen. Uh, so it uh, it doesn't have a cap, so that's why it's also called Capless. Uh, it's a hand lacquered black barrel with speckles of multicolor abalone shells uh, and uh, it has rhodium accents, it's rhodium plated, it's an 18 karat gold nib. It has uh, this kind of click mechanism, which is, is fantastic. It just so, it just makes it so easy to use. You you pick it up and you it's ready to go. And there's a hidden trap door mechanism as well inside. So uh, it guards it from uh, the pen from drying out. So this is years of uh, sophisticated engineering that has gone into the design of this pen, and so it, and also uh, it is, it's a great thing to look at as well when you're not using it. So it's practical. It's an art piece, and uh, so it's it's hard to kind of uh, pick a, a pen on top of this. So my number one pick is uh, Namiki Raiden Galaxy Capless um, as the top three. If you uh, like or dislike, it's it's okay. You can agree to disagree. Uh, I'd like to hear your comments. Uh, hit a like. Um, follow me on Instagram and YouTube. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, see you soon.